Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to clear coat a painted radiator support using Rust-Oleum Gloss Clear. As always, safety first. Make sure y'all wear a respirator so you're not breathing in these toxic fumes from these paints. Alright guys, make sure you shake the can thoroughly. Also, Make sure you read your back of your can for your directions and your harmful hazardous facts in case you actually get it in your eye or then you swallow it. Let's get this can shook up and we'll show you how to apply this Rust-Oleum paint properly and have this thing clear coated and looking like it just got sprayed with a water hose, soaking wet. All right guys, we got this can shook up here. You want to be six to eight inches away. And every time you get to an end, let go of the trigger. Not only so you're not wasting product, but you're not getting blow by. Which is where your paint, where the fumes, let me see if I can show you here. When it goes up into the air, so that blow by, if you hold the trigger over here and then come right back over, that blow by, when you take that, make that pass coming back across, it's going to stir that up and then blow that back into your freshly painted particles. So then what that's going to do is not only create a real bad orange peel, but it also could potentially cause a run. And we definitely don't want no runs. And as you notice, I stopped right there, and that's where we're picking back up off. Puppy's gonna look good. And yes, for all the critics out there, parts of the back side of this support Yes, I know, they're not fully, fully covered with paint. Paint's not exactly cheap, I'm not sure if you're aware of that. And I don't want to waste the product when I'm going to be painting the whole truck on a section of the truck that's never going to be seen. Now, I will apply a light coating and clear coat but I'm not going to I guess you could make it you know showroom finish or like the exterior of, the, of your vehicle like you're gonna like you want it to be Looking fine. Come to this side so we got any passes this away. Make sure we definitely By getting all these areas covered. You know, you want the whole thing completely covered. You want to get your spot, your blow by spots first. Because those spots, just like on a, when you're painting a vehicle, you want to paint the wheel welds and arches first. I'd take Burke for a second, guys. My master, she wanted to go inside. All right, let's go. Come on. Athena, say hi. Say hi. Sit. Sit. Hey, sit. Sit. Hey, idiot. Probably because I got this face mask on, the respirator, so she's looking at me like a freaking idiot. Go inside, lay down. 
All right, let's get back out here and do it. Let's get it done. All right, let's get it done here. Like I said, you want to be, when using aerosol cans, no different than a big, you know, actual paint can. I'm sorry, not paint can. No different than using an actual paint gun. You want to be six to eight inches away from the paint. The painted surface, you know, what you're painting. But with the paint gun, now I did do that with the, you know, the color. But on this, you know, I'm not worried about using an actual paint gun to clear coat this. Uh, you know, I'm going to do that on the whole truck. I'm trying to get the, the uh, truck back together. I'm going to go from there. But yeah, there you go, guys. By the way, this is Cardinal Red. If you need the link to the paint, I'll leave it in the description below. But yeah, there you go. There's a radiator support, freshly painted, and then clear coated. Yeah. Hope you're gonna shine. Alright. Y'all leave some comments below. Make sure y'all hit the thumbs up button. Y'all like, share, subscribe, share the channel. Y'all have a blessed day. Stay tuned for the next one.